Okay, another update on my truck project. This is a 1960 F100, and I put it on a 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor frame. I've been doing some work inside the truck mostly now, so I'll give an update on that. I put a new uh, headliner in it, and they do make reproduction headliners, but uh, quite expensive to get them shipped into Canada, so I made it out of these uh, panels. This material comes in a 4x8 sheet, and I just got it from Home Depot. I think it's meant for in bathrooms. It's a uh, uh, plastic type material. It's quite, quite rigid. Uh, and what I did is I just used the old headliner as a pattern. And then I um, cut out the pieces and used a heat gun to, um, to shape them. I found it as easy as cutting them out with... Uh, Electric shears like that, they seem to work pretty good, and then I sanded the edges to make it look good. So I'll uh, just get a light here so we can see a little better. Oh yeah, there you can see the headliner now. And so it turned out pretty good. Um, I had to put those bends in, like I say, with a, with a heat gun. And it was three pieces in total. But uh, the finished product came up pretty good. Also, too, I had to make some modifications to allow for the shoulder straps, but uh, I was able to make that work. Uh, a couple of little tricks if you're doing this project is um, up front here, I took the, uh, the visors out and I used those holes to put a piece of scrap of wood up there and that held up the front of the panel as I was working it in the back. And what you have to do is you have to uh, get the panel in behind that uh, window seal, which is a little bit of a pain. But I finally did figure it out. You, you basically do it the same way as you do uh, the windshield. I put a piece of heavy cord in there and then sprayed it liberally with uh, silicone spray, uh, like silicone lubricant. And uh, then you line it up and then you use the cord to kind of work the, uh, the rubber over top of the headliner. And you do the same thing for the, for the corner panels too. And uh, that's about it for, for that project. Also, too, I um, put a bed liner, spray and bed liner, just uh, one of those do-it-yourself ones. I think it was Russ William or something like that. And uh, finished the floor and in behind the, uh, the seat as well. I might be able to see it behind the seat there. I sprayed that all with, uh, with that bed liner material. And then I had a couple of uh, leftover hoard ornaments. Those are off of 59 actually, so I repainted them and put them on that panel. That panel, I had to make that to uh, uh, clear the frame on the Crown Victoria, so I figured I might as well dress it up with, uh, with a piece of trim. The other thing I've been working on is uh, uh, this tonneau cover in the back. I think I showed a video on that previously. I made it so that it, it locks now. It does flip open. And what I've done is inside here you can see that golf ball that's actually a, a handle and you just pull this out and then there's one on the other side I'll just go pull that one out as well and once those are pulled out you can lift up this uh, front panel on there and I got the nice thing with the setup yeah there's the other one there And then this panel can, can flip up like this. And it's pretty simple, actually. I just put uh, some wooden blocks in there. And uh, there's rods attached to the golf ball. And then they hook into, into there. So if you've got the truck locked up, this front compartment's also locked as well. Which I thought was kind of nice. And then back to, this is locked. And it's only accessible from inside the end gate. And the way I've got the end gate, you can put some uh, locks on these little cam locks here. So you can lock the end gate as well. And once the end gate is locked, you can't get into the, uh, the bed either. So the locks are just basically this piece of wood. And this little rubber stopper here is basically just to keep the end gate from going too far. You just swing these in. And the nice thing is when that end gate's closed, there's no way that uh, these things can open because the end gate holds them as well. You just move that in as well. 
close the end gate back up. And then this opens as well. Yeah, it's the same idea. Well, here you can see the little pieces. Very simple setup. And that gives you access into the back compartment as well. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this update. Thanks for watching.